what is going on i am cole and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be participating in a challenge that uh, my buddy over at dc breaks uh which i'll have that up here he had just recently had a video and he showed off his 10 favorite covers um and his 10 favorite cards from his favorite player and character so i've got 10 covers that I'm about to show off. But another thing that he wanted us to include was some give a shout out to three channels, one of which is under 100 subscribers. So I'm going to start out with those shout outs. The first channel is going to be Average Joe. He is at 96 subscribers. I'll have his link up here and I highly recommend checking him out. I ended up finding out about this channel because Cardwolf, if you have not heard of Cardwolf, I'll have his information here, but this is not necessarily a shout out for him. He and Average Joe do pack battles. I actually invaded a pack battle of theirs once. So if you want to see my pack battle invasion video, I might have that too here. Who knows? But check it out average joe he's been ripping cards he currently has a giveaway going on for a hundred subscriber giveaway and that is for a hanger box of the current mlb 2022 series one cards and the next channel i'm shouting out is one that i think is far underrated and he has way too little subs for how great of videos he does this is one of my favorite channels and i love watching all of his videos in this bronze age brian now one of the things he does is he mainly goes through comic shops and he shows what comic shops look like and does cool. They're, they're very short, anywhere from, you know, three to five minutes, usually just showing what is at these comic shops, what he gets from the comic shop, what he likes about the comic shops, and really just gives spotlights on comic shops and cons. And I think it is so cool for me. It's very rare that I'm going to go to Florida, but I know that if I go to Florida, I can check out a bunch of his videos and I can see which shop seems like the best shop for what I want to do. I think that's super helpful. And he really just has a lot of insight on like what's going on with shops. He releases videos every Wednesday. And if you haven't checked out his, his stuff, I highly recommend it. And the final one is an awesome community member. I think most people in the comic book world probably know this guy. His name, he goes by the channel name of Chop and Drop 2013. And he does a lot of haul videos, what he picked up, um, some of the surprise wins, just some cover stuff. And yeah, he's just an awesome dude and a very great supporter of the community. And he's one of those guys that I think every video that I watch, I see him commenting on the same videos. So we either watch all the same content or he's just all over the place. So thank you, Chop. I appreciate all the support you've given me over the last three months. But I think this is what you guys are all here to see if you can tell by what i've got going on here i've got some batman stuff in the background and if you didn't know my favorite character is batman so i'm gonna show off some batman covers that i love this is really hard uh especially when you say batman i straight up just took this only to batman main title i did allow volume two and volume three to sneak in there um but i tried to keep this and even this like you know I spent a very little amount of time doing this, so I'm sure that I have covers that I like more, but these were the ones that kind of, in a quick glance, I got to. So I'm going to start off with the first one is Batman 2. 91. I love this just because it's got the rogues gallery sitting there uh, for you know the funeral of Batman, and they all think they killed him. And once again, if there are any covers that you think I missed on this awesome Batman cover challenge, let me know. Next up is Batman. I think this is 317. Just kidding. It is 315. And it is Batman and Kite Man on here fighting. This is, I think, the second appearance of Kite Man. It might be the third one, but I just love it. It's, you know, bats on the back glider, Kite Man on a Kite Man kite. And they're fighting in the middle of the air. Next one up is Batman number 414. I love this because you just see Batman in the knife in the background. It kind of reminds me of that Wolverine Todd McFarlane cover that everyone knows so well. And uh, speaking of Todd McFarlane, I had to show this book off. I think if you're doing a Batman covers book, you can't do it. This is Batman 423, the epic Todd McFarlane cover. This was one of those that this book is essentially a key for no important reason other than the fact that that cover is so sweet. 
These next two kind of go back to back, and I could have maybe counted them at one, but I'm not. But they're both from the same story arc, and this is Batman 608. This is such an iconic cover um, from Jim Lee, uh, where Batman is just flattening over there, pulling on the rope. The next one is 609, another great one. It's got Poison Ivy. It's got Catwoman. And, yeah, I mean, if you don't know, this is from the Hush storyline. But those are two awesome covers. Next up, you know, I had to have a Batman brooding. And uh, I really like this one. It is Batman 699. He's brooding. He's got the Riddler down there going crazy. Who knows what's happening with that. But I do love this cover. This one I might get a little bit of flack for. But whatever. This is my list. It is not yours. And this is Batman 706. It is just... Uh, if. DC at this point in time, I don't know why, but they had a bunch of these white covers, all with the logo and the picture. I like how just simple and minimal this one is, so I had to throw that in. Um, this one, I want to take the price tag sticker off, but it got all kind of wonky, but this is a book that I think most people that are current Batman readings, readers will say is one of their favorite storylines, but this cover is so awesome. Batman number six is from the Scott Snyder run and that uh, awesome Core of Owls cover. And the final cover um, we've got is Batman number 24. This is Batman and Catwoman. They are looking at each other lovingly. I have used this on other, I think I used this on my couples challenge, um, but it's got the Tom King and the Clay Man signature. So, uh, yeah. Those are my top 10 Batman covers that I am doing for a shout out for DC Breaks. If you haven't already, make sure to check out his video. I think he's running this for the entire month. And anyone that enters has a chance to win either a Venom card or a Ken Griffey Jr. card. Or maybe both. I don't remember. But I wanted to help a friend out with their video. And I had a lot of fun putting this together. It is hard because there are so many epic Batman covers. And I probably didn't even pick my favorites. But these were the ones ones that I picked in the time that I was going through and getting it. So as always, I've been Cole. Let me know who your favorite character is. And if you want to enter this giveaway, I'd love to see what you have to offer on your 10 favorite uh, covers. Or if you're a sports card fan, your 10 favorite players cards. I don't have enough of my favorite players to even enter that challenge. So I just kind of avoided that. But as always, I'm Cole. And peace.